Um, and for anyone who's interested, um, there are videos, there, there uh, are video recordings of old free webinars on my website and I'll put the link in the comments. So uh, I think there's about 25 really good tutorials there. So um, they're free of charge. I teach holographic breathing at the beginning of them and they all go off in different directions. There's some about Tantra, cultivating the sexual energies. There's some about a whole vision of the cranial fluid that I teach. There's some shamanistic ones. They're all there, they're free of charge. So there's that there. On at the front end of the webinar, of the uh, website, there's a webinar page which are the more advanced webinars and um, they're not very expensive but they're paid for uh, and there's a group of people who come along you know most weeks they're kind of like a family we're progressing with the inner energy work and certain well they're always powerful but recently those have been getting very pokey so if you want to do something really quite transformative uh, and energetic they are there. Today um, I don't know how this is going to go. I started teaching this in an advanced webinar and I thought actually I would rather teach it in a free webinar so um, and it's about the breathing motion through the whole body that is activated when we start learning or when we start holographic breathing, there's this motion, this whole body breathing motion right down into the individual cells that starts working, it just kicks into motion. And I'm going to show ways of activating that. And I'm going to show ways of deactivating it. I'm good, we're going to work with the holographic breathing and I'll show you how the different areas and different systems, how you can move from one to the other, how you can turn them on and turn them off. And we're going to be doing a fair amount of work with the tongue and how that works in holographic breathing. And actually next week we're, we'll be doing an advanced webinar on the tongue. It's at a discount. Um, so the new people here, if they want to go on, that is the perfect introduction. And that's next week. There's also, because uh, I'm just feeling it at the minute, there's channels, or at least I get fed by channels when I'm teaching holographic breathing. There's an intelligence that comes through, thank God, <laughs> that, that kind of tells me what to do, because otherwise we'd be in trouble. <laughs> if it was just up to me, I don't know if it'd work at all. Um, actually, we could do certain things, but there is, a, I get channels coming through and towards the end of it, you know, we'll open it up in a particular way that people can start channeling energies as well. Holographic breathing is a, it's kind of a spiritual, well, it's, it's everything. It's healing, breath work, energy work, and it's spiritual. You can connect to the spiritual realms with holographic breathing. You can receive information. It has its own reality. To my knowledge, there just isn't any other breathwork systems like holographic breathing. It has its own field. It starts up in its own way and connects to a, a whole healing system, a whole energetic system, a whole breathing motion system. It's not a technique. We start it going, but then it just carries on in its own way. 
and um, we're going to do it in two halves. First of all, I'm going to teach holographic breathing so um, everyone can get a, a taste of that. And then in the second half, we will go into it in more depth. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, in holographic breathing, the lips are closed all of the time. The tongue is relaxed and on the roof of the mouth all of the time. The breath is through the nose. And within that, there's a gentle motion of the jaw. On the in-breath, the jaw is relaxing open. And on the out-breath, the jaw is relaxing closed. And it's a small motion just two or three millimeters. Um, and you can start already, for the, definitely for the new people, just start, not the motion of the jaw, because it, it, it needs to be talked into that in a certain way normally, um, but start off having your tongue on the roof of the mouth. It's the flat of the tongue on the roof of the mouth, the tip of the tongue is close to or touching the front teeth. So, and it needs to be comfortable, so as much as feels comfortable. The upper surface of the tongue on the roof of the mouth, the tip of the tongue close to or touching the front teeth. You may have half an inch of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. You may have an inch of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. The whole tongue maybe on the roof of the mouth, but not forcing it. it, needs to feel comfortable. The lips are relaxed and closed and the breath is through the nose. Now when we move into the meditation and me teaching of it, there's a list of actions that bring in the breathing motion in an easy way to, to initiate holographic breathing and these start off as an exercise but at a certain point they just fall in line with the muscles of the breath and it just becomes automatic as you're breathing the jaw and mouth just move in that way and this subtle motion spreads through the whole face through the brain through the cranium through the whole body and the whole body in a very subtle way starts breathing. It's as if you have access to every cell opening and closing. And I'm going to demonstrate it just so that you can see. You probably won't see the movement of the jaw because it's small and relaxed, but you will see that the lips stay closed and you may see kind of a relaxed state as I go into it, but just seeing it somehow answers some of the questions for people. So I just do four or five breaths with that, just so you can see it. One, it's relaxed. Two, it's meditative. And even though there's a small motion to the jaw, the lips stay closed. And very quickly, you drop into a deeply meditate, meditative place. I didn't really want to come back. It's like an instant hit. There's this kind of just lovely feeling that moves through the whole body. And it's like you can feel the brain. It's a big release and relaxation. The brain also starts to breathe, you can feel the brain starting to breathe and this kind of euphoria or relaxation or meditative quality just moves through you. 
in learning holographic breathing, you have to get all of the bits in the right place, otherwise it doesn't work. So for the new people, it's important to stay awake through the first kind of five minutes of me teaching so that you get all of the bits and it actually starts and becomes almost automatic because if you miss any of the bits then it won't work and you won't be doing holographic breathing. So for the new people as we go into these exercises it's important to be sitting because if you're lying down there's a good chance you'll fall asleep and miss some of the instructions. Um, there's no, the breathing is normal, it's just no, you know, no fixed breaths or depth of breath, it's just relaxed breathing. It's not connective breath work, it's, you know, you have a pot a, space between the breathing as in your normal breathing. Um, now we're going to, uh, I just want everybody, all of the new, definitely all of the new people just to try this, to have your lips together, have your tongue on the roof of the mouth and just start moving the jaw. It's a bit like chewing just to get the experience that you can have the lips closed and you can kind of in a small way just bounce the jaw up and down. We do this every day when we're eating. The jaw moves, the lips are closed, it's possible. Okay, you can let that come to an end. Okay, raise your hand if you couldn't do that. Could anybody not do that? Okay, everyone can do that. That is good. All right, we are going to start. So, if you're new, make sure you're sitting, closing your eyes, and if you know holographic breathing, just gently doing holographic breathing. If you don't know holographic breathing, just relaxed breath. No particular thing, just how you would normally breathe in a relaxed way. And we're going to bring in some energies and resources, or you are for yourselves, going to bring in some energies and resources. Sending a smile, sending some energy to the earth and allow the earth to say hello back. Allow yourself to receive from the earth. And notice what that feels like through your body and through your energies. And also sending a smile, sending some energy to the higher self and the beneficial energies. The beneficial energies are any channels, spiritual beings, any beneficial healing energies or spiritual energies you like to work with. So it's the higher self and higher beneficial energies. Sending them a smile, sending them some energy and allow them to say hello back. Allow yourself to receive from the higher self and the beneficial energies. And notice what that feels like through your body and through your energies. And asking the earth, the higher self and the beneficial energies to be with you through this whole webinar as a healing resource. So 
So the lips are closed, the tongue is on the roof of the mouth. The tip of the tongue is close to or touching the front teeth, the upper surface of the tongue is on the roof of the mouth and as much as feels comfortable and start moving the jaw up and down, small motions, half a finger width, two or three millimeters, quarter of an inch, just gently moving the jaw up and down and keeping the lips closed and keeping the tongue on the roof of the mouth. The breath is through the nose all of the time. Just to become used to that you can move the jaw and keep the lips closed. And then slowing that motion down, really slow opening and closing of the jaw. And when you feel ready, we'll align it with the breath. As the jaw is opening, allowing the breath to come in through your nose. As the jaw is closing, allowing the breath to leave through your nose. Jaw is gently opening, letting the breath come in through your nose. Jaw is gently closing, allowing the breath to leave through your nose. Notice it's like a little pump. As the jaw is relaxing open, the breath naturally draws in through your nose. And as the jaw is gently closing, the breath is naturally expelled through your nose. Relaxing the back of the neck, relaxing the back of the head, relaxing your whole body. So we're just going to become used to this movement for a while before we move on. The jaw gently opening, the breath comes in through the nose, the jaw gently closing, the breath leaves through the nose. The lips stay closed all of the time. The tongue stays on the roof of the mouth all of the time. Relax the back of the neck. Relax the back of your head. Now we're going to change the gestalt. It's good to be aware through this bit. We're going to change the emphasis from the mouth and the jaw to the nose. Being aware of the breath coming in through your nose and the jaw relaxes open. Allowing the breath to leave through your nose and the jaw relaxes closed. Notice the energy changing. Everything becomes much softer. The movement of the jaw becomes much softer. You feel an energy traveling through your face, through your brain, through your whole body. Breathing in almost automatically, the jaw is relaxing open. It doesn't have to be far, it can just open a small bit as long as it's moving. Breathing out, the jaw relaxes closed, relaxing the back of your neck, relaxing the back of your head. Gently breathing with the holographic breathing. As the jaw closes, the teeth 
float together, there's no pressure. So breathing in, sorry, breathing in, the teeth are separating. Breathing out, the teeth float together. There's no pressure as the teeth touch. Breathing in, the teeth separate, the jaw opens. Breathing out, the jaw closes, the teeth gently touch or they don't have to touch at all. They can almost touch, but not quite. But the jaw doesn't become fixed. Just moving with the breath through the nose. And we're going to take the emphasis away from the face and the jaw. Should be pretty well automatic by now becoming aware of your chest. As the chest opens, breathing in, the jaw automatically follows and opens. Breathing out as the je- chest closes, the jaw closes. The lips stay closed. The tongue stays on the roof of the mouth all of the time. If you feel any pain, if you feel any discomfort, make the movement smaller, slower and more relaxed. Dropping down into your abdomen. The abdomen opens, the jaw relax is open. As the abdomen closes, the jaw relaxes closed. Relax the back of your neck. Relax the back of your head. Allowing your whole torso to breathe in, the jaw follows, it opens. The whole torso breathes out, the jaw relaxes closed. Become part of the breath, just moving with the breath. It's all one breath. Notice in a very subtle way, the whole face has started to breathe, the whole cranium, has started to breathe, the brain has started to breathe, the neck, the spine, the throat have all started to breathe. Notice how that is kind of new. Normally your brain doesn't breathe like that or your face doesn't breathe like that. It initiates gentle, subtle motion through your whole skull, through your face, through the cranium, through the brain. Notice how it feels like your brain is breathing very subtly and your neck is breathing. The whole body is breathing. Letting the breath drop into your abdomen. Notice you can drop down from your abdomen into the pelvis, the pelvis opening on the in-breath. The pelvis closing on the out-breath. Notice how you can now travel in your body. Be aware of the pelvis breathing in a gentle and relaxed way. The arms, the legs, the hands and feet breathing. Whole body, you have now have access to the whole body. The whole body has this gentle breath moving through it. If every cell can breathe. 
This breathing also is an inner tantric kundalini type breathing. You may be able to feel your pelvic floor, the organs of the pelvis gently releasing. You may feel an energy rising up through the center line and through your brain. Through your center line or spine, the energies start releasing through your body, through your brain, and connecting to the higher energies, the higher self, or the beneficial energies, or the divine realms. Notice how you can contact God, the Creator, divine realms. Letting those energies release from the pelvis and the pelvic floor through your spine or center line, energizing your brain, connecting to the higher self and the divine realms. You may feel a pulsing through your brain. Letting the divine energies say hello back. Allowing yourself to receive the divine energies. Allowing yourself to receive the divine intelligence. Allow yourself to be informed by the beyond. It may come in through the top of your head, it may come in through the back of your head, but if you wish to, one way or another, let yourself connect to the divine realms, the divine intelligence. There's kind of a, an energy wants to speak at the minute, so allowing yourself to receive from your higher energies just seems to be a space that a downloads available. And if you want, you can just receive from your higher self a spiritual energy and information. You may not understand it. It may just be informing your DNA, your brain, in a way that's beyond our understanding. But allow that transmission. Allow yourself to be informed. Relaxing the neck, letting that go through your neck. A lot of holding in the neck to channel. You need to relax the neck, relax the throat. Let that energy come through. Gently breathing with the holographic breathing and allowing yourself to channel. Enjoy those energies. Enjoy the energetic communication with God, the divine realms, the beyond. Not often we speak to God, take advantage of it. Very gently breathing with the holographic breathing. Letting yourself be informed. There's some information allowing yourself to receive new information for a new time. 
Definitely relax your neck and the vertebrae in your neck. Let the energy travel through your neck and your brain. Let yourself melt. Let yourself be a communication with the divine realms, with the creator, with God. And breathe. And you are no longer separate. It's like your body and the higher self are one being. Allow that intelligence, allow that divine being to touch you, to inform you, to impart its knowledge, its understanding into you. Be a vessel and breathe. And letting that travel through you right down through your pelvis, through your arms and legs, right down into your hands and feet. Let every cell of your body receive that divine message. Very gently doing the holographic breathing to allow the channeling. Holographic breathing enables people to channel. Just relaxed breathing, gently breathing letting the energies go through, relaxing the neck. Let the energies travel both ways through your neck and through your throat. Allow it to reach your genitalia. There's some healing of the genitalia that needs to happen. Allow it to reach right down into your genitalia. To all areas of your genitalia. Right down into the head of the penis, right down into the head of the vagina, into the clitoris to that whole area, also the rectum, allowing the divine energies to reach into the pelvis and allow that to heal. And allow that to release through your legs. And breathe. Also allowing those energies from the pelvis, from the genitalia, including the rectum. The rectum is part of those energies and the sphincter muscle in the rectum, allowing those to rise up through you and meet with God. This gives you the potency for a strong channel. the kundalini or the potency from the pelvis rising through the body and connecting with God the beyond, the higher self. You may feel your vertebrae adjusting. Breathe and relax. Okay, that's slowly waning, gently breathing. It's 
So in about a minute, we're going to come back. Gently breathing, letting everything soften. And when you feel ready, gently allowing yourself to come back. How to explain this? Now, for me, it's really hard to know how to describe holographic breathing. For me, it's a format of how we could be breathing all the time. It's how I breathe all the time. It's not like I learned holographic breathing or I thought if I do this and I do that, this will work. I was sitting meditating, like <laughs> the archetypal being hit, my God, I was sitting meditating and there was this blinding flash of light through my brain and an audible pop, like it sounded like a light bulb popping and his energy, not just in a soft way, drove through my face down into the jaw and just that sheer energy moving into the jaw activated holographic breathing and I started doing, I think, wow, that feels amazing. What, what is that? <laughs> and I could feel these energies moving through my whole body and this whole thing started. And for me, it never stopped. It just started. I was doing it when I was asleep. Unless I was speaking or eating, I was doing holographic breathing. Sometimes just very gently in the background, but I was doing holographic breathing. And at the time that it came through, I was dying of Lyme's disease. Lyme's disease strongly attacks the brain and it started healing my brain and started healing me. And I'm still here 25 years later. Um, well, 20, 20 years later, 20 years since it came through. Um, and uh, understanding the anatomy of it, I can see how the muscles are working, the muscles of the breath are working to move the jaw in that way. If the jaw is relaxed, it will move in that way. For me, with our normal breathing, the jaw doesn't matter how you do it. Now, I may be biased in this, but I'm just looking at it scientifically. However you're holding your jaw when you normally breathe, when you're not doing holographic breathing, the jaw is going to be tense because all of the muscles of the chest as they're lifting, they're working through this muscle here into the hyoid bone and that's exerting a downward pressure on the jaw and the, the tongue. Also as the diaphragm, as that drops, the heart drops, the trachea drops, the esophagus drops, they all attach to the hyoid bone that pulls down on the jaw, that pulls down on the tongue. So if the jaw and the tongue are not programmed and are just relaxed, they will move down on the in-breath and they will relax back up on the out-breath. This may sound arrogant, so for me, holographic breathing well, there's two cases. Holographic breathing is the only time that the jaw is relaxed because it moves with the breath. There's one other state which we will go into in the next meditation, which is almost holographic breathing. 
And from what I can see, or my image of this, which again may be wrong, is that this is how we breathed in the womb. There's this breathing motion through the whole body. And this gentle motion of the jaw with the lips closed, the tongue on the roof now, that's moving through the whole body. And I think the baby forms around that. And then when we're born, that is also an enactment of that breath. And then when we come out, breastfeeding, I don't know if people notice, but holographic breathing is like a subtle form of breastfeeding. And I think through that time, maybe babies were also breathing with holographic breathing. And maybe at a certain point, maybe when they stop breastfeeding, it moves to this other type of breath. For the jaw not to move with the breath, the muscles holding the jaw have to tighten on the in-breath and relax on either the teeth are together and the muscles and it's fixed and the muscles above are holding it in place or if the jaw is relaxed down the muscles holding the jaw will tighten to hold it in that place on the in-breath and relax to hold it in that place on the out-breath. Holographic breathing is the only time the jaw just naturally moves with the breath. So we're going to look at this in the next meditation. We're going to take that movement apart. We're going to... Now, I've taught it to you starting through the nose. I have to trick people to learn holographic breathing. Literally, I have to trick people to do it. I found if I do it in a certain way, people will start doing holographic breathing. When I first started teaching this, it was like some kind of nightmare. People were having terrible pains in their jaw. It'd be like half an hour and it still hadn't started. Because I'd just say, well, look, have your lips closed? Have your tongue on the roof of the mouth? On the in-breath, gently open the jaw. And then on the out-breath, gently close it. And that's a doing. And the muscles are above. When you're opening and closing your jaw, it happens from above. It's not connecting to the breath. And people will come back months later and say, I'm trying this, but it really hurts for all of you. So I had to change it and start off with the mouth moving the breath. And then we move up into the nose. Then automatically it's moving. You move into the nose and holographic breathing starts. It's kind of like a trick. In this second meditation, we're going to, in the first meditation, we learn holographic breathing with the lips closed, with the tongue on the roof of mouth. So that was all in place. Then we get the motion going. Then it becomes the muscles of the breath that are moving the jaw, moving the tongue. People drop into it. And then this energy moves through the body. And as you may have noticed, it gives you a messenger, God to God. <laughs> you can speak to God. She's pretty handy, really. When you think about it, you've come to a free webinar, you've learned something where you can speak with God. I mean, that's quite good value one way or another. <laughs> um, in this same one, we're going to start with the mouth open. And we're going to come from it from that point. And I don't know that I'm going to describe what we're going to be. I think I will. I think I will. Um, we're going to start off with how we normally breathe through the mouth. Uh, and that normally it's, it's kind of fixed. There's normally quite a small, most small opening of mouth. You're, in and out like that. We're going to start like that with the jaw fixed, with the jaw not moving as with our normal breath. Now that you've learned holographic breathing, that may not be so easy anymore you know, because you've kind of undone that lock, whatever it is, or turned it round the other way. But kind of going back to your ordinary breath and you'll find that you can quite easily have the jaw still and 
breathing in and out through the mouth. And then we're going to do breathing in, kind of quite a big opening of the mouth and then a big closing. But again, this is not with, so much with the breath, this is still a doing. And then after a while, we're just going to let the jaw hang. And because you've learned holographic breathing, you'll be able just to let the breath to connect to the jaw. The mouth is open and you start getting the motion of the jaw and you move into an altered state of consciousness. And also with that, I'm going to get you to become aware of the tongue and you'll feel like the surface of the tongue is changing shape. It's kind of dropping down in the middle. If it was on the roof of the mouth, it would be creating a vacuum with the roof of the mouth, a bit like suckling, that the tongue is also moving, and even though it's not connected, it's making this suckling motion if it's connected to the diaphragm, if it's connected to the abdomen, the jaw, the tongue will move naturally with the breath and you move into this altered state of consciousness then after a while we'll just let that lift and connect the tongue to the roof of the mouth have the lips relax and close and because you already know holographic breathing it'll be easy just to drop into the holographic breathing and what happens it may at first it may feel like oh my god i've hit a wall and my jaw and tongue is stuck but after one or two breaths you'll feel that motion of the jaw that motion of the tongue, that all of the bones of the face and cranium fall in line and it just becomes an opening and closing. You'll feel it's as if all the cells of the brain start breathing. So the movement of the jaw and the movement of the tongue is not what's creating holographic breathing. It's not what is creating holographic breathing. It's where it's broken if we're not doing holographic breathing or if we've got our mouth open. You, we'll, we'll drop into an intrinsic breath. That breath is through the whole body and just by having the lips closed and allowing the tongue and allowing the jaw to move with the breath, it joins, it becomes part of a whole intrinsic breath that moves through every cell of your body, through the spine. It's like the ribs move with the breath. Say you somehow had a rib that wasn't working <laughs> for some reason, uh, that'd be painful. And you get it in line, you get an osteopath to crack it into line and suddenly it's breathing, suddenly the breath happens. It was being stopped by that rib not being put in place. Holographic breathing is a whole breath through the whole body. It's normally broken by either the lips being open, the tongue not being on the roof mouth, or that area locking against the breath. For some, there's some reason why that's happened. There's some reason why either we've never been doing that or when we stop breastfeeding or whenever it is, we drop into this other breath where the jaw isn't just moving naturally with the breath. So in holographic breathing, it truly isn't a doing. Holographic breathing is not a doing. It's a removal of a lock or it's a removal of a compensation so that the jaw and the tongue doesn't move with the breath or counterbalances the breath so it stays still no matter how you're breathing. That was interesting. I wasn't expecting to say any of that, but I had a little little speech there waiting. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're going to go into that. And we're going to take that through the body too, because I want to demonstrate what the jaw 
relates to. And for me, the jaw relates to the muscles and the bones through the body. What the tongue relates to, and for me, the tongue relates to the diaphragms, to the brain, to the organs, to the vagus nerve. What this area of the face, the nasal passageways, the sinuses, the nose, for me, this is more the lungs, the heart, the fluids, the eyes more, the nervous system, the brain, the connection to the higher self. All right, we're going to start. All right, closing your eyes. We'll start off, actually, no, we won't start off doing holographic breathing because then it will be hard to keep your jaw still. So we're just going to start off having the lips slightly open and breathing in and out through your mouth. It's kind of like a letterbox and the jaw just stays still. So you just open the lips and just breathing gently in and out through your mouth trying not to do holographic breathing. <laughs> and notice you can easily, it's kind of there, you are able to keep the jaw still and kind of relaxed and have a fairly small opening. The breath is just coming in and out through your mouth. And notice when breathing like that, the breath is quite high in the body. You can get it deeper, but with the lips slightly open. It's quite high in the chest and you can drop it, you can drop it down into the chest and in the abdomen. Notice that you can do that and notice what that feels like. Just gently breathing in and out through your mouth with the lips relaxed open and the jaw is relaxed but it's just staying still. And now, kind of opening the jaw, so the jaw opens quite wide on the in-breath. And then closing the jaw, lips will still be a bit open, so you're breathing in and out through the mouth. Notice as you're opening the jaw, this gives you a deeper breath down into your abdomen. and you can close the lips completely on the out breath if you want. But you get this movement of the jaw opening on the in breath, big opening, closing, and that enables you to drop much deeper down into the abdomen and notice what that feels like. And now have the jaw just relax, slightly open. And as with holographic breathing, start letting the breath open and close the jaw. So as the abdomen is opening, the jaw relaxes down. As the abdomen is closing, the jaw relaxes up. So you let the breath move the jaw, you let the diaphragm, move the jaw. As your abdomen is open, you feel the jaw is naturally being pulled down. As the abdomen is closing, the jaw is naturally rising up. The lips are open, the breath is through the mouth, we're doing mouth breathing. And notice you start changing dimension, you start changing reality as you let the jaw and tongue relax and you let the breath move the jaw, even though it's with mouth breathing, you start changing consciousness. It starts moving through your brain, start releasing endorphins, it starts doing different things. And notice now the jaw is relaxed because you're allowing the jaw to be moved by the breath. It is the diaphragm and the ribs that are opening and closing the jaw. So rather than fighting against that or having a block or compensating for that, you just allow 
the jaw and the tongue. Notice the tongue is moving. As you breathe in, the tongue is being pulled down. As you breathe out, the tongue is relaxing up. And it's just a small motion, but you allow the jaw, you allow the tongue to be moved by the breath. Notice how relaxing it is. Relax the back of your neck, relax the back of the head. And as you feel the tongue dropping and rising, notice there's something happening to the muscles on the surface of the tongue. It's kind of veeing on the in-breath, pulling down in the center on the in-breath, and then flattening on the out-breath. It's doing a motion. It's doing a kind of a suckling motion connected with the breath. As the diaphragm pulls down, you feel the tongue dropping, but also there's something happening on the surface of the tongue. It's not just pulling down flat, there's a whole dynamic happening with the surface of the tongue. And then when you feel ready, allowing the lips to close, allowing the tongue to come onto the roof of the mouth, you may have to moisten the tongue so it vacuums itself to the roof of the mouth and just carry on with that movement and holographic breathing starts. Notice how all of the bones of the face and cranium start subtly moving with that motion of the jaws. The lips close as the tongue comes on the roof mouth. That movement of the diaphragm refers through the lips, refers through the tongue, through the roof of the mouth, through the bones of the face, through the bones of the cranium and it all starts to breathe. Notice it's a bit like the gears are sudden, the clutch is closed, the gears are working, and that motion starts moving through your face, through your cranium, and through your brain. And that it's natural. All we're doing is allowing everything to move with the breath. Relax the back of the neck. Relax the back of the head. Notice it's not just muscular. You can feel all the cells of the brain have started breathing. They've started moving. So instead of compensating or locking, we've just allowed it to connect through the jaw, through the tongue, through the whole face, through the cranium. Notice how you can feel it releasing through your brain. Allowing yourself to drop into your chest. Drop into your abdomen. Notice how the abdomen really connects to the tongue and to the mouth. As you drop into the abdomen, it really activates this motion of the jaw, activates this motion of the tongue. It makes it stronger. And all you're doing is not fighting, not holding it still, allowing something to happen. Allowing the whole face to start breathing allowing the whole brain to start breathing, allowing the neck and throat to breathe. And this reciprocates through the whole body and you start feeling the whole body breathing. 
allowing yourself to drop down into your pelvis. The roof of the mouth and the tongue relate a lot to the diaphragms. It's being pulled down, the tongue is being pulled down by the diaphragm under the ribs, but it also connects to the pelvic diaphragm. And it's different to how it's taught with normal breathing. They're pulling together the suction from the tongue on the roof of the mouth is a feeling of, the, of drawing together the pelvic diaphragm, the tongue and the roof of the mouth are pulling together on the in-breath. Dropping apart on the out-breath. Notice if you can feel that through your rectum, through the perineum, that there's a drawing. They don't have to move, it doesn't have to lift up, but it's, there's a pull from the tongue on the roof of the mouth to the perineum to the rectum. They're pulling together on the in-breath, relaxing apart on the out-breath. You can let that drop down through your legs, so it's not just the pelvic floor, it's a bit like the legs being drawn up. Legs and the pelvic floor drawn up on the in-breath, relaxing away on the out-breath. Notice how this connects to the jaw, to the tongue, to the roof of the mouth. There's a pull on the in-breath and there's a relaxing away on the out-breath. Notice you can get a really nice movement in or energetic movement in your legs as if they're drawing up on the in-breath and if they're relaxing away on the out-breath. Notice how relaxing that feels. Don't have to, it doesn't have to be big, it can just be a nice soft feeling. The abdomen expands, it's a bit like the legs and the pelvic floor draw up. As the abdomen contracts, the legs and the pelvic floor drop away. And through the whole small of the back, through the back of the lungs, through the back of the pelvic floor, there's a pulling on the in-breath, relaxing away on the out-breath. Notice you can feel this subtle motion in your brain. If you become aware of your tongue, kind of connects you to your brain. It connects you to the lungs and the heart. It connects you to the organs in your abdomen. So there is the movement of the jaw, but notice what happens when you become aware of the tongue. It connects you to the viscera, connects you to the brain, connects you to the lungs and heart, connects you to the organs and digestive system. Notice if you can feel that. Notice if you can feel all the cells in the brain breathing as you become aware of the tongue. And this kind of euphoric feeling as the brain starts to breathe. And you can feel the lungs, you can feel the heart all of a sudden. It connects you to this internal motion and sensory quality of the brain, of the lungs, of the digestive tract, of the organs, 
of the genitalia. This is the vagus nerve. Just letting that all work. The jaw, more connecting to the bones and muscles. The tongue, more connecting to the organs and brain. And the viscera. The lips also connect to the muscles. And rising up in the face. into the sinuses, into the nasal passageways. Notice the energy changing. The movement is smaller. Moving up into the eyes, notice this bright light starts going off as you become aware of the eyes. It's interacting with the brain. There's this whole system there, it's not just the movement of the breath, there is the movement from the mouth, from the tongue, creating a movement and a visceral connection. But as you come higher, there's the fluids, there's the energies, there's the nervous system, there's the connection to the higher self. Relaxing back into the back of your body, into the back of your neck, into the back of your head. And that the motion is there already as a motion, and the mouth and tongue are just following. Letting that energy release up through your brain. Let the energy from the back of your chest release up through your brain. The energy from your legs release up through your brain. The energy of your arms Release up into the shoulder blades and up through your brain. Letting your neck be relaxed. Letting the throat be relaxed. We're not going to do any stopping and starting. We're just going to go with the energies now. Letting your diaphragm move. Notice how the movement of the jaw and tongue just become more subtle as they just become part of a moving breath.
Notice how the tongue relates to the diaphragm and the roof of the mouth relates to the diaphragm. If you become aware of the sides of the tongue, sides of the roof of the mouth, it more relates to the sides of the diaphragm. more become aware of the middle of the tongue and the middle of the roof of the mouth, it more relates to the middle of the diaphragm. Notice how the tongue connects into your digestion. heals the organs, connects to the brain, connects the organs and digestion to the brain. Not to let it give in your neck, let your neck relax, let your neck be straight. Deep, relaxed energy, allowing your brain to relax and notice how naturally at a certain point with this breathing of the brain, it naturally reaches up, it starts relaxing, starts letting go, and energy starts releasing from the top of your head and communing with God, with the higher self, with the beyond, with the divine realms. Sitting into the back of your body, letting your brain relax and release. Letting your brain talk to God, to the higher self, to the beneficial energies. And allow yourself to be touched. Allow yourself to be touched by the divine. Allow yourself to energetically speak with God, the Creator, the Divine, whatever you want to call that energy. Let the Creator talk back to you. As that happens, as it releases through the top of your head, there's an instant connection to the pelvic floor, the genitalia, the rectum, and these start releasing an energy. These start giving up their potency that rises up through you. This isn't for us, it will heal you as it goes through you, but this is for the divine realms. This energy leaves you and rises into the divine realms.
being back in your body, in the back of the body, in the back of the head. in your spine. And allow yourself to receive. Notice how it also relates to your tongue. Somehow being aware of your tongue relaxes the brain and allows this communication with the divine realms. Relax the back of your neck. Okay, that seems to be dying down a bit now. So just letting everything settle and just gently breathing. And sending a thank you to the earth. Sending a thank you to the higher self and the beneficial energies. And letting the energies go off for love and healing to the earth. The love and healing to the higher self the beneficial energies, the divine realms, the creator, God, allowing the energies to go back for love and healing. And allowing yourselves to be loved and healed. Letting the energies go out to all sentient beings for love and healing. And you are a sentient being allowing yourself to be loved and healed. And when you feel ready, gently allowing yourselves to come back.